And what's up, Facebook? What's up, YouTube? Wherever you're watching this video at, man, I have to apologize for last week, man. I had, um, I was dealing with a toothache, man, and then my job had me out of town. So, uh, I do apologize for not, uh, putting up much content or putting up much videos. But, um, uh, I'm back here now. Toothache is gone. Uh, feeling pretty good now. I'm back on my uh, regular schedule at my job now, so uh, I'll be bringing the videos every day. So uh, we're about to get into it real quick. Uh, we got the Great British Pound, Japanese Yen. Good selling opportunities coming up right now for the day, man. Good. Uh, the market is starting to make those moves. Uh, we're going to get into that, and then we're going to go over the US, USD and CAD. So we're going to get into it. All right, all right, got that out the way, family. All right, like I said, on the uh, Great British Great British Pound and the Japanese Yen, um, we got some selling opportunities, short-term selling opportunities coming up right now. You can see right here on the on the weekly time frame, we had an uptrend that was broken, had us entering into the sell zone, but then we have this uh, downtrend line that was broken that could be a false break. Because as you can see, the stochastic is in the overbought zone and starting to retrace at the moment. And then we also have this major level of resistance here for the past, since May of 2018. So it's almost been a whole year that this price point has held as resistance. And right now we had just hit that uh, resistance point and the market is already starting to bounce. <laughs> heading down to the south so that's the weekly time frame um when we go to the daily time frame uh you can see on the daily time frame we have an uptrend line that has been broken we got us a bearish crown formation and that left tip and that right tip has been holding resistance in the past and right now could be holding resistance right now in the future time so uh we have that right tip we have the left tip and the right tip both holding resistance now the only thing we will be weary of we do have an up a b fibonacci swing and this up a b fibonacci swing uh could go up to the 1618 d extension which is which is still about um about 170 pips away so my long-term uh sell my my long term uh position traders you're looking to sell long term uh probably wait until the market hits that one six one eight d extension or we can go down to the one hour time frame and we can see where we can catch a few pips now since the market is already bouncing off of that uh off of the the left and the right tip as resistance right now so we go to the uh one hour time frame and you can see here on the one hour time frame that we have this market was in the uptrend. We got three uptrend lines and this Fibonacci swing was hit. And once the market hits a 1618D extension, the market does like to retrace, as you can see. And we're breaking a, uh, we're breaking the inner trend uptrend line. So once the market breaks a trend line, it loves to gravitate towards the next trend line. And right now you can see where, uh, we actually missed our first sell trade off that counter trend line break right there. And right now, we just wait for the market to come up to a nice uh, a high price. We'll bring in another counter trend line. We'll bring in another counter trend line. And once the market breaks that counter trend line to the south, we'll start selling the market. So that is the Great British Pound and the Japanese Yen. All right, let's go look at the United States dollar against the Canadian dollar. <clears throat> okay, bring up the charts for me, please. Are we having a are we having a connection problem? Okay, there we go, there we go. 
All right. Okay, United States dollar against the Canadian dollar. All right, we're going to start with the weekly time frame. And what we're going to do here is we're just going to bring in trend lines, separate the market and buy zone and sell zones. Just simple like that. All right, we can see that trend line right there is obviously been broken. Then we come with another trend line. Have another touch there, and there go your trend lines. So you can see it's very simple right here. We got the market in the downtrend, and right now we have the market in the uptrend, and we're in the buy zone. And the market right now has been respecting this inner uptrend line. So we're looking to buy this market long term and sell short term. And we can bring in smart fibs just to give us a little of what we want to go and look actually a 1618 d extension was hit and the market fell so right now could be looking right now could be looking for good buying opportunities in the united states the usd and cad all right with that being said going to the daily time frame actually let's go back here go to the daily time frame and we may need to go all the way back here September 3rd of 2017 no actually let's um, let's go um, we need to find a downtrend line that has been broken and so we can find that that crown formation so this is uh, April 23rd of 2017 see what we find there April 23rd of 2017 uh, okay so this would be that would be the April 23rd no actually actually that is not it Sorry guys, I'm getting sidetracked because I got people. I'm sitting in my truck right now because it's a little bit more quiet out here. And uh, just got a lot of people moving around. But we're going to get it done. We're going to zoom in there. Let's bring in a small trend line. Alright, let's see what the market looks like. Where do we have another touch? All right, there's another touch right there. So we can actually bring in another trend line right here. All right, small trend line. All right, all right. Now we can see where the market broke these trend lines. Let's extend, and we'll extend that. All right, and actually, let's bring in Fibonacci's here, so we can know the overall movement. You guys, have to know what the overall movement is when it comes to Fibonacci's. You don't want to, you don't want to misplace your Fibonacci's. And we can see where that one was taken out. So we'll just start over again at this high. And let's bring in another smart fit. All right, cool. <clears throat> so there we have it you guys should already be able to see it all right we got the market one breaking the trend line uh, we got two market takes out the a step three we're going to identify the left tip of the crown step four anticipate the right tip and step five we can draw out the king's crown so here it is we had 
left here. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Something not lining up right. Because this would be left tip. That was supposed to be center tip. When the marker was taken out. No, okay, see, that's actually not. That's actually not correct. Oh, let's try these Fibonacci's again. I don't think these Fibonacci's would these Fibonacci's work correctly. All right, let's try it again. Smart fib. One, two candlesticks to the left. One, two candlesticks to the right. So that's a Fibonacci on that one candle. And then you have another one there. A matter of fact, let's start with this one. Smart fib. So it should say the same thing. Yeah, it's show, showing the same thing. Okay. <clears throat> so what it looks like, what happened was, um, doesn't look like this film, doesn't look like that Fibonacci actually took place. So, this was the Fibonacci that actually didn't work here. Because I was noticing, yeah, that that wasn't, that wasn't looking, wasn't looking properly. Because you got your Fibonacci, Fibonacci swing here. 1618, it didn't, didn't touch there. And then the market came up to the green. So then it actually, okay, so then it hit the green line there. So that was the Fibonacci. Fibonacci came out to the green line, went down to the green line. And then the market started retracing. Okay. So this will be your left tip. Then you have your center tip. And there goes your right tip. And there's the crown formation. So we have our king's crown. We got left tip. There's your center tip. And there's your right tip on the crowd. Hold on real quick, guys. I have people calling. I come outside for peace and still can't get any peace. Hold on. All right, all right, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, let's let's get back on track what we were doing here. All right, so the market takes out the trend line. Market takes out the A. Now, actually, I'm, I'm still kind of not, um, this one is still kind of confusing to me because once a fib, this Fibonacci was taken out, so this will be considered your left tip, I mean your center tip. So actually, this would be left tip, center tip, right tip. Okay. Now we got it under control. That was just one of the, one of the rare times I have actually seen it actually happen like that. So there it is. That's left tip. There, center tip. Market took out the A, then came back down. There it is. So there's your crown formation, and that is. That is your bull crown formation. Actually, let's change the color of that. All right, there's your bull crown formation. I mean, there, yeah, there's your bull crown formation. And we will bring in a Fibonacci over the top of the crown formation. And you can see right there. Market came down to the 1618 uh, 618 retracement. So, market's going up to the 1618 D extension. No, let's do a horizontal line. All right. 
Market should go up to hit the 1618D extension on the Fibonacci, according to the crown formation. <clears throat> so, let's go check it out. Let's look, see what the market has done. Market breaks this uptrend, downtrend, uh, gravitates toward the next trend line. Market went back, tested the backside of the trend line, and we haven't quite hit the 1618D extension yet. <clears throat> So with that being said, let's bring in uptrend lines to the bottom here. Make sure we get it on the right candlestick. And let's zoom in on this area because we can't see. But we do have another touch there. Alright, so we have multiple uptrend lines here. And you can see where the market has respected it. So with that being said, we're in the buy zone. The market has respected this uptrend line. We did we got close to this one six one eight D extension. And we probably could possibly still go up to hit it, the one six one eight D extension. That's 393 pips away, so that's a grand opportunity. Start buying the market, and right now the market is at a nice low price. We got three, we got three uh, bearish candlesticks, so we can bring in the common trend line right on top of those wicks. So the buying opportunity is coming up real soon. USD CAD on the daily time frame. You can see right now this candlesticks is uh that counter trend line is actually getting broken. And as long as the market closes above that counter trend line, and if it closes bullish, then we can go ahead and start buying the market. Hey, and look at that stochastic down there. You see that stochastic. Getting in that over uh that oversold zone. Could be getting ready to start reversing. So get ready to start buying the market. So now we can go to the one hour time frame and we can start uh we can go to the one hour time frame and we can see where our entry strategy would actually work on the one hour time frame and where we put our where we put our stops if we don't want to risk too many pips because if you take that <clears throat> you put your stops below the A you'll be risking way more than what you will be going after on the daily time frame so we just come to the one hour time frame and we just take bits and pieces of that 300 and we should have multiple trend lines here yes we do all right, so we got multiple trend lines. We extend those. All right, and you can see right now, market's fiddling around with this uh, down trend line. And actually, let's bring in Fibonacci's at the top here. Has a D one has a one six one eight D extension been hit? Actually, no. No, actually, take that back. Yes, the market did hit a 1618D extension. Then the market starting to retrace. Uh, we hit, we did hit this uh, downtrend line real quick. And it's just been fiddling around. We broke it, but then it came back in. Now we've broken it again. So we want to keep a close eye because the market's already setting up. As you can see right now, the market's already setting up. To start buying the market so the illustration will go to something similar to this all right let's see here all right so what you what we want to see is want to see the market break this trend line like so then we want to see the market come back down Test the backside trend line, hold that support. Then we want to see the market come through, like uh, start going up bullish. 
then once we see the market going up bullish and that the break of a counter trend line, we want to start buying the market. So that's simple. So that opportunity is coming up very soon, very soon, very soon. So you guys keep a close eye out on the uh, United States dollar and the Canadian dollar looking to buy this market. And, uh, yeah, that's that. So uh, just a quick recap before we go. United States dollar, Canadian dollar. We got the market breaking the downtrend, weekly time frame. We got two uptrend lines that are holding uh, support. Market has been respecting those. We have an up AB Fibonacci swing. 1618, the extension was hit. Market retraced. Now we could be possibly going back into the um, the direction that is planned. And that is uh, bullish. So we're looking to buy. We'll come down to the daily time frame. Had some trouble here. But we got it under control. So uh, we got our bullish. We got our bull crown here. And... Right tip, left tip was 618 retracement on the Fibonacci on the uh, on the crown formation. And the market held support at the back side of that up, that downtrend. Then the market shot up. We didn't hit the 1618 D extension, but the market did retrace. But it has been respecting this uptrend. And we got a perfect low price just coming in. Counter trend lines being broken. Waiting for this market to start reversing and heading to the north. And we go to the one hour time frame where we use our entry strategy. And the same on here, we have a 1618 extension being hit. We do have a down Fibonacci, down AB Fibonacci swing here, but uh, we're filling around with this downtrend line. So once the market wants to move up inside into the buy zone, we let the market come down, giving us another low price on the one hour time frame, and we will bring in a counter trend line and once the market breaks this counter trend line on the one hour time frame we'll start buying the market and we can put our stops put your stops 10 pips below the lowest point of u-turn and as you can see it right there uh, According to this Fibonacci here, the market has uh, I don't think not quite we haven't quite hit the eight six retracement. Okay, get off of that. Yeah, we haven't quite hit the eight six retracement. So we're still at the seven eight six, so we want the blue goes to blue. So we're gonna go up to the one two seven. And that 127 is. And 127 looks like it's about 70 something pips away. Uh, 72 pips uh, to possibly be risking about. Sixty. Yeah, about 50, 60. Uh, yeah, see, 60 pips. So that's a one to one. Go up to get 72. No, no, yep. All right, going up to get about 70 so pips to be risking 10 pips below the A. So actually, that was wrong. 10 pips below the A. That'll be that'll be 40 pips. So about risking 45 to go get 70. So that's a good trade to me. You're going after more than what we're risking. So that's for you short-term traders. Like to get pips quick and get out the market. So that's it. That's the one-hour time frame. And that's the recap. United States dollar and the Canadian dollar. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. Um, like I said, I'm going to have more videos coming the uh, rest of this week, every day. I'm going to be putting out content. Uh, Got to go and get the kids ready for school. Uh, that beautiful time we had off, it's over. Didn't really get to enjoy it because I had a lot I was dealing with. Because I still had to work and dealing with this toothache. But like I said, I'm back. I'm feeling better now. Going to be putting out more videos consistently. 
And I thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'll see you guys in the next video.